want to create content at scale without the extra work? Let the new Canva sheets and the Magic Studios AI do the heavy lifting for you. Let me show you how. I think we all know that nowadays marketers use Canva to create content for marketing campaigns from concept to execution. But until now, it has been one design at a time. So Canva figure out a way to bring Sheets and Magic Studio together to help us create content at scale and generate a month worth of content with just a few clicks. From the home page, create a new sheet. You will see the new icon here, so you just simply need to click here. This will take you directly to the editor and from here you are going to click on actions and scroll down to find import data. From here you can import your data from these databases or you can import your own data by clicking on this button. Select your file, click open and then replace current page. If your database has images, like on this example, you can select the whole column and then click Background Remover to remove the background on the images at scale. Then, if you want to create multiple content variations using AI for your A-B marketing test, you can create a new column, go to Actions, and fill empty cells. On this window, you'll see alternative headlines for this post. You can double check them on this window or iterate if you want. And when you are ready, click insert. Once you have these alternative headlines on your sheet, I do suggest that you review them one more time. Now, if you are somebody like me that creates content in different languages like English and Spanish, there is a trick to translate everything into another language quickly. Select the cells that you want to translate, then go to Actions, select Translate, select the language that you want to translate your content to. If you want, you can also choose a tone of voice and then you have the option to either translate the whole page or translate just a selected text. And I want to do a little parenthesis in here because I want to ask you if you have these two options on your account at the moment. Right now when I'm filming this video tutorial, I actually do not have access to these two options. The video that I'm showing you in this tutorial was actually provided by Canva and I'm able to see some things that I don't see on my account at the moment. So what I'm showing you now is what I see on my account. So what you see on the screen is a tiny list of colors in Spanish and I want to translate them into English but I only have the option to translate the entire page and I don't have the option to translate just the text selected. So I want you guys to go to your sheets and double check if you have one or if you have the two options available on your account. Now coming back to the video tutorial that was provided by Canva, we are going to continue with all the steps that they are showing us in here. Now coming back to the tutorial, we have here that we want to translate the selected text and then we have two buttons at the bottom of the screen. Translate or add to new column. We're going for the second option, add to new column, and you'll see that your translated content will be added on a new column on the same sheet. Now, if you have all of the content and the images that you need to create designs exactly in the same sheet, you can actually bulk create designs directly from the same spreadsheet. Go to the Actions menu, select Bulk Create, select a template from here, and then you'll be able to connect the data to the design. From here, you can link images and text. Now, instead of creating the designs from here, click the button below that says Advanced Options. In here, you can choose if you want to create all of the designs in just one doc or if you want to create different docs for each design. And then you can also set the naming format. Then, with one click, all of the designs are created and added back into the spreadsheet with links. 
Now we're going to repurpose the content that we have created in here. Let's say that we have an Instagram post, but we need to transform this post into stories and also as Facebook posts. Select the design sales, go to actions, then click on resize designs, select the formats that you want to transform these designs to, click resize and all the new design links will appear in your sheet. So as you can see, we have now three different designs for the teaser number one, three designs for the teaser number two, and so on. We have now for each of the post topics, an Instagram post, an Instagram story, and a Facebook post, all of that in the same sheet. This is a fantastic tool for marketers, especially those who rely on spreadsheets for planning. This makes the entire process seamless and pretty efficient. There are so many great examples on how we can use Magic Studio at scale, and it is not just for marketers, but for everyone. For example, sales team can create data-driven pitch decks, and K-12 teachers can transform lesson content into interactive visuals, all within a spreadsheet making it easier for students to understand key concepts. This video is part of a playlist that we have created to show you all of the new features that Canva launched at the Canva Create 2025. In the next video, Ronnie will show us how to use the new Canva AI feature. Basically, everything you need to know about this new set of tools that lets you design, write, create designs, and even generate code, all with a simple prompt. And if you don't want to miss any of the new features in Canva, make sure to watch the complete playlist in here and remember to subscribe. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!